Are you wondering why your vote to max isn't improving as quickly as you'd hoped? In this video, we'll explore effective strategies to optimize your heart rate zones and accelerate your cardiorespiratory fitness progress. Let's get started. Understanding Heart Rate Zones First, let's break down heart rate zones based on your maximum heart rate, which you can calculate using the formula 220 minus your age. Adjustments are made for gender differences. Now, explore the five exercise intensity zones based on a percentage of your maximum heart rate. Each zone serves a specific purpose, ranging from light exercise and warm-up to recovery, moderate aerobic conditioning, and higher intensity training. This guide is useful for customizing workouts to achieve specific fitness goals. Effective VO to Max Improvement Strategies To increase your VO to Max effectively, incorporate high-intensity interval training into Zone 4 for short bursts, followed by active recovery in Zone 2. Challenge your aerobic capacity with tempo runs in Zone 4 for extended periods. Complement cardiovascular workouts with strength training to enhance overall fitness. Overcoming plateaus and maximizing results. Now, let's address common reasons for a VO to max plateau. 1. Lack of high intensity efforts. Integrate HIIT and tempo runs into your routine to stimulate aerobic adaptation. 2. Inadequate recovery. Allow sufficient rest between workouts for optimal recovery and performance gains. 3. Lack of variety. Mix up your workouts with different exercises to challenge your body and prevent stagnation. 4. Adjusting for experienced athletes. Understand that progress may slow over time, and monitor your vote to max trends to set realistic goals. 5. Genetic potential. Regardless of genetics, consistent effort and recovery can improve VO to max. In summary, tailor your workouts to the right heart rate zones, and integrating focused workouts can greatly boost your VO to max, smart training, and listen to your body. You'll achieve your fitness goals faster. For more help, please go to support.garmin.com.